from Dr. Dr. Gabby Kerr at the National Publicity Summit with Rochelle Weisberger. Rochelle, how are you? Pleasure. What you do, you have this poised look around yourself. You look so elegant. Tell me a little bit about what you do. Can you guess? It's all about beauty, of course. And I'm a beauty expert. I've been in the field for over 20 years, and I've written a book that I think will be life changing for many women because what I want to do is empower women not to follow the herd and to think for themselves and to follow a more holistic. Uh, type of aging. So people are really raving about the latest and greatest that we could use for surgery or whether it's Botox or whether it's a filler. What's your sense in terms of where beauty is going these days? Well definitely it's, it's escalating to a point where younger and younger are, are really opting for these new, new, they think, pace changes. Um, what I think is happening, and what I see is happening, is that they're starting at a much younger age, and statistics bear this out. I mean, from age 19 to 34 in the last 10 years, Botox procedures have doubled. Now, this is an alarming rate, and even those opting for cosmetic surgery, I mean, the images we see in the print, on our TV, the celebrities, people who are highlighted, there's no face of aging anymore. So it's become what Maureen Down calls standardization, that everyone is beginning to look, you can, did she or didn't she? Did she have Botox, didn't she? And it kind of takes away from the character of the face, you know? Um, so what do you suggest instead? Well, it really boils down to believing that you can do things, that you can be proactive and do things in your lifestyle, that deals with diet, exercise, managing stress, and having a spiritual connection as well, and engage social connections and family. And all of these are integrated and become part of who you are. And eventually all this is reflected on your face. So when you eat healthy and you're feeling good and energized, and you exercise and your bones are strong and you don't have aches and pains, you're gonna walk like a young person, you're not gonna walk like an old cripple. And that's really more important. I mean, people see you and they get an energy. You have an aura about you, an energy aura. And that's what people have. So they always say you don't have a second chance to make a first impression. And this is when someone walks in the room saying, whoosh, you know, you're not scrutinizing their face to every line and wrinkle. You're getting the total look. So I hope that women will not just be beauty and women as an isolated face, but look at the whole package and see us as a whole person. And so we're made up of different parts and all of these elements make up who we are and influence ultimately our beauty. Wonderful. Tell us about your book. Well, the book is a synthesis. It's called Biblical Beauty, Ancient Secrets and Modern Solutions. And since no one has yet done such a thorough research on what has been done ancient times and coupled it with the modern, I thought this might be an interesting perspective. And what better time to look than now and to go back so many thousands of years and see the beginnings of the cosmetic and the makeup and self adornment industry. It is astounding how advanced it was. So what did you find out? Well, for instance, the things we take for granted, oh, cleansing, exfoliating, protecting the skin, moisturizing, all these things are rooted in ancient times. I mean, the Egyptians were the leaders, they were the cosmetic leaders of their day, and they were highly advanced, and they had a little more rudimentary kind of ways of doing things, but the process, the whole idea of taking care of your skin in such a way you think about is quite advanced. In fact, many, um, just a few years ago, uh, L'Oreal company teamed up with the Louvre Museum and they had a chance to investigate some residue that was in some coal jar and they found that the whole method of making this coal to adorn the eye was far more 
complex. The chemistry that was involved was not just throwing some oil together with some space. It was a very highly sophisticated way of processing and manufacturing it. Wonderful. So what's the name of your book and how can people get a hold of it? It's Biblical Beauty, Ancient Secrets and Modern Solutions. It can be purchased on Amazon.com, also on my website, michelleweisberger.com. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you.